this is P6, and I'm teaching Yakubu as usual with science. We looked at, we are still looking at music. Remember, we looked at musical instruments, and they were classified into three. Hope you remember how to define the string instruments, and you can list all examples. The percussion instruments, and you can list all examples. The, the wind instruments, and you can list those examples, and you can play very many of them, okay? Today, let's look at methods of storing sound energy. If I start singing, and tomorrow I want to hear my voice the way I was singing, how do you think that we can store the sound? Very many artists have recorded the songs, have done very many things. So these are the methods, of, there are only two methods of storing sound. One is by writing, you write the music, and that is sometimes we, we write in sulfur notes. It's called sulfur note, sulfur notation. By, by, you can say by using sulfur notation, or you can say by writing, in case they ask you, how can sound be stored? By writing on paper, or you can say by, by using sulfur notation. Sulfur notation is the form of writing music using syllables on steps. Now, this is not the step. I drew this thing to show you the, 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 the music alphabet. It is like do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. And you can go backward, like, I went like that. Do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. That is the music alphabet. Now, these letters, these letters can be converted into symbols and they are written on a stave. When you pursue higher education, you, you learn how to read the music on a stave, how to read these symbols and you can even sing the, the national anthem when you're reading that, okay? Number two, apart from using sulfur notation or writing, you can store sound energy by recording by recording, and then you replay it like, like, like we are recording this lesson. Even the sound is being stored, so you can store by recording using very many things. Now, these are the devices used to store sound. One, memory cards. Two, DVDs. Three, we have magnetic tapes, projectors, tape recorders mobile phones, flash drives, computer disks, iPods, film scripts, all these things, all these are devices for storing sound energy. Now, these are the devices which are used to produce. These devices are only used for storing. For them, they can't, they, you can't play a memory card. You have to put it in any of these devices then you reproduce the sound, okay? These are the devices which reproduce the sound. Oh. One, we have the record players, okay? Then we have the radio cassettes, a radio cassette. Let me hope you have, you have seen one. Let me show you one. So that what you have seen is the radio cassette. It can be used for reproducing music. Another one is the, the tape recorders, video, video decks, film projectors, DVD players, computers, mobile phones, gramophones. Okay? Here we are. Let us look at ways of reproducing sound. One, stored sound can be reproduced by replaying. Like in your phone, in the computer, in the radio cassette, you just replay it, it will be produced. Singing, oh, you gone, don't make go up. Reading, like when I, I was showing you the step where it was written. So you just read it and you, it will be reproduced, okay? Ah, this is the activity I want you to write in your book. And the answer correctly, okay? Thank you. Bye.